I'm Tom Stuffin with Gould's Water Technology Xylem brand. We're going to cover a digital meter today. We happen to be using Fluke 1587 meters that we've been using for a long time in the factory school here. These happen to be the 1587 FC, which is Fluke Connect, which is uh, able to use Bluetooth, which we don't necessarily use in the lab here, but uh, that would be one of the newer models. So let's just cover some of the capabilities of a, a typical digital multimeter. We'll start here in AC voltage, right? So that's your, that's your sine wave, that's your AC voltage. One of the most common tests that we would do, right, to see if, A, we have voltage uh, to, the, to the unit. Is the voltage within tolerance? And what is that? That's plus or minus 10% of the nameplate. Pretty standard uh, rule of thumb. The next is DC voltage. We don't use that a lot here, but you can uh, for things like uh, if you have a drive. Right? There's some DC voltage checks that you can do uh, on a drive or a BFD. Next is DC millivolts. We really don't use that at all for any of our products. The next super common is, is ohms, right? So that's your, your omega symbol for ohms, a measure of resistance. One of the most common tests that that we would do to check, check a motor in terms of line-to-line -line resistance checks or line-to-ground resistance checks. The next would be continuity, kind of looks like a loudspeaker. And that's also a, a good test to see if you have continuity between any two wires, let's say. And the nice thing about continuity, it gives you an audible beep. So if you're in a, a dark corner or something, you need to know if you have continuity and maybe you can't see your meter, then uh, it gives you that audible uh, if you do have continuity. Next is, is amperage here. So, of course, another common test that we would typically do when troubleshooting is to measure the amperage. Now with that, we would use a, a current clamp. So that goes around uh, the lead that you're measuring. One of the most common Issues that we see, with maybe with first-time users, uh, is you know we're maybe looking on the input, but we want to go on the output side, and we also want to measure one line at a time, as opposed to grabbing more than one. One wire at a time on the output side, and we're just going to wrap it around and get an amperage reading. The next one here is insulation. You can see the word insulation here, and you can also see that this is an insulation multimeter. What that refers to is, if you're measuring, let's say, the insulation of, of a motor, we're measuring the, the insulation is kind of like a, a thin varnish on the windings of the motor, and that's a form of insulation. That's, that's a great test. Uh, your your line to ground, a hot lead to any ground, and uh, that's going to really be one of the only tests that you can do to tell you the relative condition of that motor, anywhere from brand new to a dead short. And you can see the insulation test button here. On the outside, we can see some of the blue symbols. Right, so that's pretty common with, with multimeters. You only have so much room on that dial. They, they kind of stack them, right? And I know that causes a lot of confusion. Let's go back to the first one here, and that's your low pass filter. That's your symbol for that. But in order to get there, you just have to hit the blue button. You can see now that we're using the low pass filter on the voltage and we've got the low pass filter symbol there. You would use that on, let's say, the output of a drive because it has the filter on it and it's going to give you an accurate reading on the voltage on the output. Similar here across the board, uh, this would be temperature. Again, I've got to hit the blue button to measure temperature. 
that would be with a temperature, a temperature probe, which we don't necessarily use here, but you know, your, your unit may come with a temperature probe. The next symbol is capacitance. Again, so every time I switch that, if I want to get to capacitance, I've got to hit that button. Right? So very common for our business to measure capacitors. There's capacitors in a jet pump, there's capacitors in control boxes and drives. So the nice thing about a, a capacitance checker, it measures the actual value of that capacitor itself. Another common test that, that we would use uh, in our business. Next is a diode. So there's your symbol for a diode. Again, I've got to hit the blue button here to measure a diode. Not super common, but uh, there are some tests that you can do on a drive, specifically on the, uh, on, the, on the input side to measure the effectiveness of that drive, measuring the diodes. A diode is kind of like a check valve for electricity. It allows current to flow one way and, and not the other. So that would be diode. Those are all the capabilities, some things that you can do with this.